Good morning guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at the Blue Eddy, how it wakes up in the morning all by itself, starts to charge, how I switch over certain loads in the house to get some use out of the Blue Eddy. Now the Blue Eddy is for emergency purposes, backup generator, backup solar generator to go with my gas generator. But we might as well get some use out of it during the day, run some small essential loads off of it. And this is how the day starts out. The AC200P is alive and well. First thing this morning, getting ready for a big day of charging. We're at 34%. The sun is just coming up. It's a long ways away from even being in position to make power, but it's making a little bit of power already. So what I normally do is run the refrigerator. I run the freezer, the internet, and the kitchen lights off of the Blue Eddy all day. Usually I can run it, if we have a non-cloudy day, I can run it up to 10 o'clock at night on the reserve after the battery charges all day. And it works out well. So the sun is way over there, just coming up in the morning. It's just coming up and the panels are over here. So the panels are no way directed at the sun. They're facing south. So we're waiting for the sun to come up. But just that little bit of sunlight has woken up the Blue Eddy. So the Blue Eddy is getting ready for a day of charging. And the sun is way over there in the east. So since I'm already at 34% this morning, left over from yesterday's sun, we will be switching everything over right now. But so we are going to turn on the AC, power output. It is now on. We got 34% reserve. In a couple hours, so it's nine o'clock, we'll be putting return back into the Blue Eddy. So we will be switching over the den to generator mode, the kitchen to generator mode, the laundry room to generator mode, which that includes the freezer, stand-up freezer, and the refrigerator. So now we are running the basics off of the Blue Eddy. We are pulling 131 watts right at the moment. And of course, we're not putting in hardly anything, not even measurable. So look, a few minutes later, 7.35, we are bringing in 5 watts. 5 to 10 watts, bouncing up to 10, 5 and 10. It's an overcast morning. You saw where the sun is at. We're taking out 204. So we're taking out 204 watts at the moment, so we dropped down from 34% down to 32%. But we are making 5 to 10, and pretty soon we'll be making more than we're using. So during the building of my ground mount, I had to mix, mix and match some components from the Unistrut, some metal brackets so that I could use the U-bolts to hold the frame to the wood. And I needed to do some serious grinding. Now, I never dreamed that this little Dremel tool was capable of serious grinding. I know it's good for little stuff, little trinkets and stuff like that. But I ordered this off of Amazon, this 10-piece uh, burr set. And this 10-piece burr set, I wasn't sure whether it was going to do the job, do what I needed it to do. You know how it is. You're ordering something and you don't know. You don't know until you try it. So... This little burr set, let me tell you, was a lifesaver when it came to those brackets. I had to do some serious grinding on the bottom brackets that hold the, the bolts to the frame. These are the Unistrut plates that I had to grind out with the little burr set. And let me tell you, there was a lot of metal work going on that had to be taken out. I didn't videotape it, but take my word for it, there was a lot of grinding. And those burrs did an excellent job along with the Dremel tool and that allowed me to elongate the slots so that this plate from Unistrut could fit the bright mount solar panel kit. And these little burrs really cut through. Now it took quite a while I'm telling you because I had four brackets that I had to grind but 
I couldn't have done it without this burr set. So this burr set didn't cost much, and because it didn't cost much, I thought it wasn't going to be worth much. But it was worth every penny. Okay, guys, let's take a quick look before I close this video. It's 1016, and well, 1018. We've come up 1%. We're making 412 watts now, and we're spending or using. I like to think of it like a bank account. Are you taking in more than you're putting in or putting in more than you're taking out? So 10 o'clock in the morning, let's say, and we are putting in more than we're using. So that means this is going to go all the way up to probably 100%, probably around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And then it'll be, we'll be running on what the solar panels are making. And we won't be taking anything out of the battery till about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. And then we'll start our way down. So that is a quick update there. Well, thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one.